everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Brian. He's gonna be my very serious model today. And I'm gonna show you the special test of the empty can test, which tests for supraspinatus tears or shoulder impingement. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So just like I mentioned, this test can be to check for a supraspinatus tear or an impingement. But just because it's positive or negative doesn't mean that's what it is. There's lots of false positives, there's lots of false negatives. This just kind of helps rule things out. So with the empty can test, you're basically imagining that you have a can in your hand and you're emptying the can. Now, <laughs> I know, very sad that we're emptying our cans. Some people like to have your arms all the way out to 90 in abduction, yes. I'm, I really like it more in that scaption area, that 45 degrees, but the most important part is to have the thumbs down that you're emptying those cans because that kind of puts that shoulder into that impinged position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a little bit. I'm going to have Brian kind of go out to the 45 and he's going to turn the cans down and then I'm going to have him try and keep his arms there and I'm going to put some pressure on both. So I'm just going to push down, you hold it. And if he does that, if he's having pain, that's a positive sign. Sometimes there'll be weakness with that as well because of the pain. So if it was his right side and I'm pushing, it would go down a little bit. I like doing both sides because it gives a good indication of, are they holding up the other side? Are they dropping both of them down just because they're scared of the test? So it gives you a little bit of a um, way to kind of rule stuff out. But again, just remember, positive doesn't necessarily mean supraspinatus tear or impingement. It could be a whole lot of other things. It could be a labral issue, it could be some bursitis, it could be tendonitis in general. So these are really just to kind of rule stuff out, rule stuff in, narrow it down to really find out what's going on. But if you have a positive test and you're looking for some stretches and exercises to hopefully get it feeling better, make sure you click up here. And if you'd like to help support our channel, click on the link up here to find out how. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe. Don't empty the can on your shoes. Have fun. And I hope you feel better soon. <laughs>